Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Classic Arcade Repairs. Today up on the bench I have a Burger Time board set. And as you can see this one says sound okay, no ladders. See, no ladders. And one thing about Burger Time, I had the most difficult time, almost impossible, getting this game to sync to my G07. It just wants to roll vertically. And the reason I believe it does that and I, I know I've I've seen some people posting stuff on the forums about burger time and, and vertical roll. For whatever reason, this game has a 57 hertz uh, vertical refresh rate. What is standard in the United States, basically, is 60 hertz. So all of these are designed on 60 hertz. Pretty much. So it does not want to sync to 57 hertz. It just doesn't. It has a hard time syncing to it. Now, now the, uh, the Nintendo monitor syncs right up to it. No problem. First time, every time. But this monitor right here does not want to sync to this. So, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea why Midway changed their vertical refresh rate on this board. It's, it has to be a Data East thing. You know, maybe it's PAL. Is PAL 57 hertz? 55 hertz or something like that? 50 hertz? I, I, I don't know. But uh, whatever the reason, I, I it sucks because this game does not want to sync. Most of other Midway stuff is all 60.6 60 hertz, almost 61 hertz. This one just has a hard time sinking vertically. So, yeah. Kind of weird. Kind of weird that they did that. But this one, the sound does work. Everything works except for there are no ladders, as, the, uh, as it says. And I believe that there is graphics data up here. Now, I, I do have another Burger Time board in the queue. I do. And what I did was a little swap -a Now, the other Burger Time board has a bad... This board's bad. But I took this board off of the other set and put it on here. And the sounds are all messed up, but at least it has ladders. So I believe that the ladder problem is this board. I think this board right here is absolutely fine. So we will, you know, we'll go through this one. It might just be, it might just be EEPROMs. Who knows? It's possible. I don't see anything. But we'll, uh, We'll get into it and see if we can find out what's going on with this thing. I'll do a little poking around, and when I find something, I will pop back in. All right, so I started just probing the ROMs, and I came to this one right here. That one, actually. And all of the data line outputs were all floating on this guy. So yeah, this one was no good. I, I took the one I took that chip out of that other burger time board I told you that I had in the queue. And there's the graphics. So I'm gonna need to burn another burger time ROM. I'll put this one back in this board 
and burn a new one for this one. This one's obviously dead. No outputs. So, and then that'll fix this board. We'll play some burger time. Looking good. Got all of our ladders back and all that good stuff. Yep. Just programmed a new EEPROM. There's the old bad one. No good. So let's play some Burger Time. I'm looking forward to this because I like this game. Okay. Let's give it a go. Let me find somewhere to... Yeah. Never said I was good. Oh, come on. Bye-bye. Go. Come on, boys. I am not good at burger time. You got me. Well, I like it. I, I'm not good at it, but I do like it. I'll go turn the light back on. I'll be right back. All right, and there you have it. A fixed burger time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A fixed burger time board. Just an EEPROM. Very well. A quick, easy one. I'm going to sit here and play some Burger Time. And I thank you for watching, supporting the channel, and all that good stuff. Thank you to all Patreon members supporting the channel and picking up a few tips here and there from me. And we will see you guys all on the next Classic Arcade Repair. Bye for now.